Hi, so I just wanted to show you some of the EasyCAD work we've been doing and see if we're interested in pursuing this and going further with it. We developed EasyCAD two or three years ago when we started adding new features to EZ. Both EZ and ERAS suffer from the fact that they're developed in really old versions of Microsoft Visual Studio and it's very hard to work with them when you wanted to start having some technology that would be in the more modern versions of Visual Studio. So EasyCAD is currently an overlay to EZ. We develop stuff in EasyCAD and then we can just contain, can, we can include it with EZ. We could also make some of the EasyCAD stuff an overlay to ERAS depending on what we do with it. And the third thing is that EasyCAD works as a standalone CAD system. So the idea was if we kept adding enough features to EZ and ERAS, implementing them in EasyCAD, eventually we might have something useful that someone would would be ready to use. And I think with the Wegman's idea of, of having some non-ERAS users place some things in a model, that might be just the right solution. When Jim was here, he worked mainly in EasyCAD. He worked on menus. This thing on the left is a is a menu that divides in areas. For, which I, for instance, when I click File, it brings up the File functions. When I click Draw, it brings up the Draw functions. Jim learned how to work on this. He added the new function right here, Easy Layout Symbols, which we'll be looking at in just a second. Jim also developed dialogues. The, the dialogues in EasyCAD are used created using our ASCII dialogue system that we've been working on over the last 10 or 20 years. And he did some actual C code development where he had to write routines to read stuff from the disk, load stuff into EasyCAD. So we, we really had a pretty good week. We need to discuss more what we want to do with that. So just a couple of EasyCAD functions. Here's a 2D rectangle function. And we work a lot like we do in ARIS where you pick colors first. So I'm going to pick a light blue color and draw a rectangle and it just makes a rectangle in light blue. So it's that kind of easy work that we're looking at in this low-end CAD capability. You can also draw lines. I'll go to the line function, tell it I want the line to be black, and draw a line. We don't have even XY forcing in here yet, but those kind of things are easy to add. But I can just draw some line work. The big thing we added, especially for the Wegmans demonstration, is is the easy layout symbols. So here's our dialog of easy layout symbols. An easy layout symbol is actually a drawing in ERAS. That drawing can contain a single repeated item or it can contain more things if that makes sense. We didn't want to have to actually read the, the ERAS <laughs> repeated item structure so we came up with a concept. We'll be able to work through all this but basically each of the things you see on the left, case, gondola, sinks is a database and each one of the things, base and corner and the various sizes is a drawing within the database. The EasyCAD user won't really see that logic anywhere but the person who's creating the symbols will just go in, create an ERAS database, make each symbol a drawing in the database, save the whole thing in the way and they're ready to go. Let's just pick one of these. So as you choose each one, you see the picture on the right. So I've placed some of these above already. You can see what they're going to look like. There's case one, case two, gondola, gondola eight by two. Let's go ahead and place this gondola. We place it in the drawing and we just drag it out to where we want to be. Then we had a little fun and we put some stuff in Aris. Basically this, this is a triple sync, but we wanted to make it much more visual. It's hard for Jim and most of the CAD operators to really think of visual symbols. We think of line drawings for everything, but our feeling was that the Wegmans people might do really well with visual symbols. This visual was completely drawn in ERAS, just solid filled, uh, solid filled shapes and what have you. And when we place this, we get the symbol in EasyCAD and I'm just able to place that. So pretty much, and just a couple of other things, let's go to the edit function here, just hit the select mode. If you just if you do if you select something it highlights it right now with a big red square I don't particularly like that but you can just do things like you would expect in in Windows so I can just pick one and move it I can just pick this one and drag it around and move it get everything where I want to be so the idea was to have a, a functionality here which was much more Windows like than CAD like or ERAS like The second thing I wanted to show you is the SQL query. We've been going back and forth on that and I wanted to show you how that works. Let me right click on this sink and bring up the SQ, 
R, the SQL query for some reason, oh, smart R, Jake put it in as SRI query, smart RI query. What this is, is an SQL interface that lets you put in any SQL statement, execute that statement, and get back the results. J Jake has put three samples in here. You call them one item, one row, and one table, which we'll see in a minute, but you can call them whatever you want. You could call it inventory count, uh, on hand, specification, whatever you want. You just make an SQL query. This particular one goes out and selects a, a a column called detail from the parts file where the part number is equal to, in, in this case, the part number of this part. When we execute that query, it goes out to the SQL database, executes the query, and returns exactly the results of the query. This particular query only returned one single field from an SQL database, but that field happened to have formatting in it, text in it, and what have you, so it looks pretty good when you take a look at it. So this is a an example of a query that returns exactly one item. When it returns one item, we just load it into an HTML web page so it could have the formatting, it could have whatever you want, and display that value. Some queries are going to return a whole row of values. So this one selects the manufacturer, the product name, the description, the part number, the price, and the image from the parts file for a specific single part. And what Jake did here, he, he looks to see what the result is. He doesn't look at the query himself, but when he executes this query, he gets a row of values. Jake inverts the row. Jake flips the row around. I make the mistake I always make here, which we're going to fix very quickly, that I have, you have to hit execute here and not OK in order, to, in order to get the query done. Bear with me. So I want to pick the query one row, and I want to click execute. For a one row query, rather than showing it as a row going across with values under it, we put the column names of the row on the left and put the values in. And you see in this case, one of the values is an image. Again, this is all done with HTML. You just have to, in the SQL database, you have to store something which is able to display an image. But again, you can see a lot of power here, the kind of data we could get out of this. And then I'm going to do a query which this particular query brings back more than one row of data, so we display it as a table. Bring this query up and you see this particular one happens to display all the parts, but you have the column names going across, you have all the data in the table, and you can see how you can name pictures, you can have formatting, so for instance this particular field is, is displayed in italics. They can do quite a bit of power to very much like we do already with the smart with the data links interface where we bring up HTML pages, but this is actually going to their SQL database, doing the query, getting the latest information, and showing that. So basically that's just what I wanted to show you, that all this stuff is written in EasyCAD. We worked with Jim so that Jim can work with us to help do this in the future. We can put this in EZ, or in the case, so like the SQL query, we will overlay e the same features into EZ or into ARIS but especially for the placement of the, of the repeated items, we'll probably recommend that you use this just as it is as a standalone program. Just a couple other things, I'm going to go to the pan thing, it's just more Windows stuff, so you can pan the thing by just moving in and out on it. I'm going to push the, I'm going to rotate the middle mouse button and it zooms in and out, so there's a lot of nice visual Windows features built into this. So I'll be interested in hearing your reaction. Thanks.